Oh no, the pronunciations, he's saying everything wrong, get me out of here! Hello name nerds, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names, where each week we look into the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we're looking into the first name of Leonard. But before we begin, I want to say a huge thank you to the most recent patrons. So a huge thank you to one Rory Litwin and one Suki Stackhouse Lennon. Thank you guys both so much for becoming patrons. Patreon.com is the single best way to help support Name Explain. Helps support the channel financially. You donate just one or two dollars a month, you get so many extra goodies. You get ad free videos, a chance to say what names get explained, and exclusive content like a free blog post and a podcast. I say free. It's on Patreon, one dollar a month. You get it weekly, you get the blog post weekly, and the podcast monthly. Really good, fun stuff. There'll be a link down below, patreon.com forward slash Name Explain. If you can join, if you want to join, that would help me amazingly. But anyway, on with today's name of Leonard. And Leonard is a name that has deep links to the name Leon. And that probably shouldn't sound too surprising. I mean, if you look at the name Leonard, you literally see the name Leon in its first four letters. Like, the name Leon is literally tucked away within Leonard, not even that subtly. Though, in my eyes, Leonard is like the next step up from Leon. It's this evolution, it's next higher level. Like, if the name Leon was Magikarp, Leonard would be Gyarados or something. Gyarados. How do you say Gary Dose? I say Gary Dose, but I think that might be wrong. This is a huge tangent, but let me know how you say that Pokemon's name down in the comments below because it's a big debate, I think. The name Leon, of course, simply just means lion. You know, lions, like the big scary cat lions with the big manes. This name of Leon comes directly from the Greek word for lion, which is also Leon. Why we chose to use the name of lions as a first name, however, we don't seem to be too sure but it most likely just from the connotation we have given lions throughout history. Lions have always had this image of being big, ferocious, brave animals. Put them up, put them up. Lions appear on the crests of like so many countries. Like here in England, a lion is like our national animal. You don't get lions in England. That, that's a whole story unto itself. That just shows just the impact the lions have had on history and their imagery and the symbolicness of lions have had over the years. Even a country that doesn't have any lines. I think the biggest cat we have here in England is probably like the one that lives next door to me. That's a chunky boy. But yes, like we don't have cats as big as lions here. Sorry to any fat cats watching this video. I'm sure you're lovely. Send me pictures of nice big chunky cats because it makes me happy. The name Leonard, however, takes things a step further. Leonard is actually a name of Germanic origins, though it is of course inspired by that Greek name of Leon. This Germanic name of Leonard fused together that Greek name of Leon meaning line with the Germanic word forming element of hard, ard, erd, how am I supposed to say that? I don't speak ancient Germanic, I'm afraid. That Germanic word forming element of hard means things like strength, bravery, heart, and of course, well, hard, as in hardness. It just means, just basically means being pretty tough. This means that the name Leonard means things like lion strength or lion hardness or bravery of a lion or hard like a lion. You didn't have to go and hit me, did you? <laughs> Seriously, badass meanings if you don't mind me saying that. Leonard, despite its connotations, I suppose, as being a bit of like a less cool name, you don't really see many action heroes being called Leonard. I think one of the Big Bang Theory weirdos are called Leonard, but you get the idea. It's kind of got this sort of weedy connotation to it now, Leonard, but Leonard means a tough and hard like a lion. That's cool. I really do feel that this name is like a level up from just a Leon. Sure, you could just be called Lion, but why not be called Lionheart or Brave Like a Lion? Like, just makes sense, really. Go with Leonard instead of Leon. If you're debating to call your child Leon, just call him Leonard because it's cooler. At least in meaning anyway, maybe the connotation the name has today. Like I said, Big Bang Weirdo, but who am I calling someone a Big Bang Weirdo surrounded by books and Lego and Transformers? So maybe I'm the Big Bang Weirdo all along. And as mentioned, this is a name of Germanic root. And like so many first names, it became popular via a saint. And it was actually a Germanic saint that popularized this name. So that all works together pretty nicely, doesn't it? The saint who popularized this name was a Frankish saint. And it's just worth remembering, because I often forget this myself, that the Franks were actually a Germanic group of people, despite the fact they lent their name to a country that doesn't speak a Germanic language at all today. So yeah, quite confusing that when you hear the Franks are Germanic, but like the Franks 
should be French. No, nope, they're Germanic, just one of those weird things. But it's just strange. Language is strange, words are strange, people are strange. This is an example of that. This Germanic saint was one St. Leonard of Norblock. I think I'm saying that right. Norblock? Let me read that. Six and a half hours later. Norblock. Norblock. No black. This is black. I'm wearing black. Screw you, no black. I'm not obeying your rules. So what exactly made this St. Leonard so lion-hearted or brave like a lion? Well, he's actually the patron saint of prisoners of all kinds, whether they be political prisoners or prisoners of war, prisoners in general. He's even the patron saint of women in labor. Um, I don't know how those two things are connected. They both sound pretty tough. And I guess like babies are prisoners while they're in the womb. Gosh, that's deep. I don't think they're really prisoners. Are they choosing to be in there? Do they want to be in there? I don't know, ask a baby. What would I know? I'm not a baby. I was once, I suppose. And during his life, he supposedly freed many prisoners. And even to this day, there are myths and legends that if you call upon St. Leonard as a prisoner, your chains will be freed and you'll be let go. I don't know how true that is. If you know anyone in prison, tell them to go worship St. Leonard and see if that gets them out, maybe. If they want to get out, maybe they want to stay in. Free country, I guess not. I guess you're not a free country. That's the whole point of prison. Ignore that bit, just, just just do your thing, serve your time, I don't know. Can you watch YouTube in prison? Maybe it's torture, maybe maybe part of prison is you have to sit and watch name explain. Oh no, the pronunciations, he's saying everything wrong, get me out of here. Maybe it's some of that, I don't know. This is this is going to be a huge tangent now. I haven't recorded one of these in a while and I think I've forgotten how to do it. And we'll save in the edit, that's fine. You better. But I imagine being a prisoner of war or political prisoner or even a woman in labor it's pretty darn challenging and tough to get through and you need to be brave and strong to persevere through that time in your life. Hence why lions got applied to this lions are brave, tough, strong animals. So I suppose that's how St. Leonard got this name because he was not only brave like a lion, but he helped all these people who were brave like lions. I suppose that would also mean that Leonard would be a great name if you were a prisoner yourself. Because if you're going to prison, you want to be brave and hard and persevere like a lion. So if you're watching this from prison, as we established, or if you're going to prison anytime soon, maybe call yourself Leonard or something might help you out in your time of need. That's a really weird way to end this video. I'm putting on name this video like the perfect name for prisoners or something, just to click bait you in there. Clickbait, ugh. Leonard is the 649th most popular boy's name in the USA and the 228th most popular boy's name in the UK. And I must admit, that's way more popular than I thought it was going to be. There are a lot of baby Leonards knocking about at the moment, evidently. I haven't met any myself, but maybe I will in a few years' time. Like, Leonard seems to be on the rise, especially here in the UK. I thought Leon would be more popular. I think it is. But Leonard's doing its thing as well. Well done, Leonard. You're doing good. Famous Leonards, of course, include the likes of Leonard Cohen, the singer-songwriter, and Lenny Kravitz, who's also a singer and actor, I believe. Was he in The Hunger Games? And while he's known as Lenny Kravitz, his name is actually Leonard. And of course, the Italian version of this name is Leonardo, which includes, why did I say that so fancy, like Leonardo? So that, of course, we can include famous inventor, general smarty pants, Leonardo da Vinci, and actor slash general smarty pants as well, maybe Leonardo DiCaprio. I think he's quite clever. He seems to like the environment. Go watch Don't Look Up. That's like his best film. Go, go check it out, it's a fantastic film. But anyway, that's more than enough about the name Leonard, but what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Leonard? Are you called Leonard yourself? Let me know down in the comments below. And of course, I just want to share some of the thoughts you guys had on last week's name of Kurt. David Rudini said, I thought Kurt was from Curtis. Well, it kind of is and isn't as we established. Some people who are called Curtis go by the name Kurt, but traditionally Kurt is actually a shortened form of Conrad. Curtis makes way more sense though, so I get why you thought of that. Lukewarm Soda Pop, which is actually the way I actually enjoy my Coke, don't at me, they said, I thought this was gonna be about the name Sandy, and I completely understand why you thought that was the case. Sandy is another name that is an adjective. There could have been about all kinds of names, so I'm actually gonna try something a bit different with fun with first names. I'm not gonna mention the name it's about in the description, it's gonna be in the title of the video. Sometimes, maybe sometimes, maybe all the time, I don't know, but that was a test run and people seem to enjoy it, I suppose. It got more views than average. I just thought it was an interesting way of framing the video. A little peek behind the curtain there. Don't let them know what the name's about in the video. Maybe it'll work out, maybe it won't. 
who knows. And PH said, today I was playing Squirtle and it doesn't accept names as a valid word, but I got surprised when I accepted Peter. Apparently it has a meaning. It was going so well, but petered out immediately. So yes, Peter is an adjective too. Um, it's an adjective I really like. I mentioned it in my name to that also adjectives video from years and years and years ago now. Um, yes, Peter's fun, fun adjective. Kind of petered out, it means something kind of just ended, kind of sadly, I suppose, like, like this video. Now, this video isn't really gonna peter out, it's gonna end in its normal big flamboyant way. So go suggest some names down in the comments below and I'll pick three of those to put into a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote on. And then the winner of that poll will be the name covered in the next Fun With First Names video. So if you enjoyed the channel, want to help support it and have a say in what names get explained, then please do consider becoming a patron. As I said guys, patreon.com forward slash name explain helps the channel in the best way possible if you can justify donating one dollar a month and enjoy the channel i really would love it if you did of course it's your money go donate someone else's patreon go spend it on a big mac or whatever how much whatever pound or dollar can get you these days but it helps the channel in a huge huge way keeps the lights on here at name explain hq keeps amber paid and fed maybe not fed i don't know what she used that money for do whatever she wants with it. <laughs> helps keep me paid and fed, I'll say that much as well. So if you can, and if you want to, helps improve the channel, helps expand the channel. I can't do this without you guys supporting me on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash anyway. If you want to, add free videos, loads of extra goodies. Do it. Or don't do it. Reverse psychology. Don't do it. Nah, do it if you want to. Anyway, I've got in this video. He's going to peter out now. That's more than enough of myself, guys. But... Don't forget to go follow me on Instagram, why I'm Name Explain YT, and don't forget to go join the Facebook group, Friends of Name Explain, where you can talk with myself and many other name nerds. Okay, guys, take care. Well, I hope you like today's outfit. Very elaborate, just after Pride. Maybe I should have worn it during Pride. Exactly, I'm gonna go a couple seconds. However, takes things a step further. Uh -huh. Something distracted me. This German, but and this name, I suppose. Did I even read my notes for that one? In freeing these prisoners and blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. Two six four nine two two eight. Oof, that's a bit of a strange one, wasn't it? Felt a bit loosey-goosey there.